I showed a photo to my mom and she told me that it's bad luck to wear pearls on your wedding. Hi, I'm Verdon C. Salim and these are my top 5 designer items. So first one I would say is this yellow Chanel mini rectangular classic and the reason why these are one of my favorite bags is it's actually in my favorite color and this one was hard to find i found this all the way in japan from a reseller who sells vintage items um this one i'm not sure if it's so vintage but i know that this is such a good find because it's not every season that chanel releases an item in this color and it's so cute because it's in the exact shade of yellow that i love so there the next one could be this one. So this, I intended it to be my wedding bag. But then it's so funny because days before, I showed a photo to my mom. And she told me that it's bad luck to wear pearls on your wedding. So that's why I only ended up wearing this during our welcome dinner, which happened the night before our wedding. But I just find it so cute. I feel like it's so me. People who follow me for a long time know how much I love pearls and how I love injecting them into any outfit that I wear. So this was such a great find. I don't get much uses out of it to be honest because it doesn't fit anything. But not even my patience. <laughs> but it does fit a few cards. My phone doesn't fit unfortunately but it's a good accessory. And it's something definitely I can pass down to my little girl if I do have one in the future. So my third top designer item will be this Lindy 26 in Etope. This was, I think, one of my most recent buys, purchases, and I got this from the Hermes store in Manila. This is my favorite everyday bag. I thought I would, I would have a hard time wearing this because of the color, even if it's in a neutral shade. But I just reach for this every single day, especially for outfits where I don't know what to wear or I don't know, it's just so easy to bring. I love that it's in a material that I don't have to take care of it too much. And this was actually my husband's first gift to me as husband and wife. So of course that's gonna be special. And my fourth one, again, my wedding shoes. I don't know why, but they're so memorable and there's a cute story behind this. I got this in LA when I went with my family maybe like four years ago, if I remember correctly. And the reason why I find the story so cute is because I found this by chance. So we Filipinos love any outlet shopping trips and we went to one that's I think about an hour or two away from the city center. And this was in Saks off 5th and I remember just looking around and this was the only designer item on the shelf. I think the rest are in broken sizes. It was like in 5 or 4 and this was the only shoe that really caught my attention. Because I've been wanting one like this because of course for all of you Sex and the City lovers like me, this is the famous Carrie Bradshaw shoes and I really wanted one for my wedding. Back then, my husband hasn't proposed to me yet, but I took it as a sign because it was just sitting there alone. It was in my size, which super timing. So I really felt like it was meant to be in the exact same color in my size in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully, it will last me for years. And last would be my fifth one would be what I'm wearing. So this is a Rolex. I don't even know what what name it is i'm not so sure but my parents taught me to invest my money wisely and my mom and my dad are not really for bags or you know designer clothes but they did say that investing in jewelry and watches will be something that your future self will thank you for and yeah so i got myself this one if i think late last year or last year right before um christmas and i just really been waiting for this for maybe three years now i've been on the waiting list for three years in rolex philippines and finally when i got the call that the exact model that i want in chocolate face and with the rose gold material is available i took the chance and bought it right away so this one definitely i bought this for my future self and just in case for the rainy days and for my future kid it could be for a guy or a girl so this definitely is an investment I made not only for myself, but you know, for my future kids. 
that's the reason why I got it in a bigger size like this one because if ever I'm not gonna be blessed with daughters at least my son could use it so there those are my top five designer faves and if you're wondering what advice I could give for those of you who want to start your collection I only have two which is never to spend beyond your means you don't have to buy a designer item right away you just have to buy something that will last you for a very long time it doesn't have to be a chanel right away it doesn't have to be a rolex right away as long as it's within your budget and within your means then i say go for it the second one the second advice i can give is if you can't stop thinking about it if it's within your means within your budget then just buy it because if you can't sleep then it's probably for you. <laughs> Again, I'm Verdon C. Salim, and those are my top five designer favorites.